Um, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a first number. Uh, we're going to need a second number. And then um, we'll also come down here and we're going to need to, um, uh, we're going to need to uh, add the numbers. And then finally, we're going to need to output, output the numbers. So the first uh, number right here, so the way you get user input is you just simply type in the word input. Now we need to assign this to something. So we're going to do something like um, X and we're going to go equals and we'll just go input here. And we're going to put um, uh, please enter the first, first number. Now, right off the bat, this will work. Um, this will this will work, but it's expecting a string to come back, right? So if we go here and we go, um, uh, and if we was running this application, which we can run it, you know, you could run it like right here, uh, down here at the bottom, it says, hello, and welcome to the calculator. Uh, please enter the first number. Now I can put in a number here. Um, we could put in, you know, four, five, six, and continue. We're not doing anything with it, but by default, that is a string. So what we would need to do is we would need to cast the number. So um, casting means as this is a string right now, we could make this an int, an int, by putting this over the uh, the top part here. So now when we ha we look at this, it says x equals int and then enter the first number. Um, if we take this uh, line, let's just take this line right here. Uh, let's copy it. And then for the second number, what would we do? We'd go right here and we would go y. We don't want to waste a lot of our keystrokes. And then this right here is the second number. Okay, so we've got two numbers in, in here, right? Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I don't think I'm outputting this anywhere. Yeah. Uh, let's go here, here, and let's run without debugging. Uh, we're just going to go 55, and we should fix our, fix our spacing here. So what we're going to do for that enter that first number, we're going to go, we're going to do this right here. Sweet. So if we run this again, um, then we should, uh, it, yeah, we'll have our spaces in there. So let's see, what do we have over here? Um, we, uh, what will happen if you enter a character instead of a number? Well, if you enter a character now instead of a number, um, what would happen would be, let's go here, go run, run without debugging. Um, if we enter a character, it's going to not like that. <laughs> Uh, do you see down here at the bottom? Um, and the reason for that is because we specify that this is an int. Now, there is conditions that we can add in here, you know, to prevent that from happening. And any good program would obviously prevent you from, uh, you know, typing in random characters. Um, a result x equals um, y. Okay, so at this point, um, all I'm doing is I'm just adding these together. And it's the same thing as just, you know, your typical uh, addition. It's just addition. And so um, we can print the output. And up here, uh, I, we use print one time. We can print the output um, here by going uh, result. I'm going to see if I can make the screen a bit better. It will print it, though. Okay, let's just see what happens. So let's go 55, and the second number is going to be 22, and we've got 77. And then you can call the line of code. So here we are, python, py101.py. Uh, your first number, your second number, and your result. And you could make that obviously like fancy, right? You could have made it fancy pretty easy. Okay. So there's a lot to be desired here, right? A little bit about different types of like methods. 
but they're pretty easy here. So if we go DEF, so a method here is this sign, and this, uh, what we're going to do here is going to be DEF for define, and then I'm just going to hit tab. The reason uh, it this works with a tab is because I have Python in uh, VS Code um, already installed, and so it understands some of the basics, you know, some of the basics that we would use. So we needed four of these, right? We needed one for add. We want to add uh, some numbers. Um, and if we wanted to add some numbers, well, let's go back to that same formula. We were going to do X, and we were also going to do Y, right? Um, okay, so now it's looking for an X and a Y. So we need to return the value. We need to return what 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 value is inside of this. So how do you return something? So we can just simply go return, and what do we want to do? We want to return. Uh, we want to re return the addition of this. If we wanted to, um, how would we actually call this function? Um, so couldn't we just go right here? We could go add, um, and then we're going to put in two numbers. We're going to put in uh, 15, and then we're going to go 15. And if you're asking me why we're going 15 and 15, it's because I can add that, those two pretty quick. <laughs> So let's go here, run, run without debugging, uh, and here we go. So welcome again to the calculator, and we've got 30. We've got 30 because I can add 15 plus 15. Woohoo! Tract, S-U-B-T-R-A-C-T. Uh, we're going to multiply, um, and so this makes this a bit easier to subtract. We want to do just this dash here. Uh, so here, we would just come in and we would go this one. Okay, cool. I think we already said like, uh, you go three, uh, what you're going to do here, three is you're going to multiply and then, uh, four <laughs> is going to be uh, divide run, run without debugging. And that's what we got. Okay. That's cool. And so what's kind of cool is that again, if you just type in while, um, it does kind of everything here for you, you know, at least it starts it. We're going to take the second one because we're actually going to have an else statement in case they print something invalid, some, some random text in here, right? So while, and we're going to go true. So you just type it out here in Python. It's just, you just type it out. Um, and so we have a choice here. Uh, this is going to be a variable and now we're going to take in some user input, right? And so we're going to say, um, enter input that should take care of at least um that should take care of at least the what we're expecting people to top in we got a one we've got a two we're gonna go input enter first number it may not look too pretty for the first time but that's okay number two is going to equal to an input here of enter and enter second number choice equals one you'd want to print and what you would want to print would be add num number one by the way i'm not adding all the other checks that i probably need to um for like types and some of this other stuff we're just kind of get something kind of like working okay so if the choice is number one then we want to simply print here, um, add, and then uh, the, that number, number one, and then number two. And uh, for the next piece here, we're going to check to see if the choice is equal to two. And if it is equal to two, what are we going to do again? We're going to, uh, we're going to subtract. So that's going to be the subtract one. Uh, we're going to multiply here, and then right here we're going to divide. Okay. And what we'll want to do is we're going to want to break. If they don't pick any of these, what happens? It just does a break statement. So let's just do a print here, and this is going to be um, uh, you did not enter valid. We are expecting a string. So let's go here. We can specify the top in here. I think I could just do like this, this, and this. 
and I think we could save this. Uh, we're going to go one, we're going to go 45, then we're going to go five. Hey, there we go. looks like it's, uh, it's working properly. Um, I just needed to change that top. So, um, let's try another one here. Let's do number two. Uh, number two, we're going to go 45 and then we're going to go five and we've got 40, 40 equals, uh, 40 total. Uh, we're going to go number three here and I can't go that high up in math. So I'm just going to go five <laughs> and then five and we've got a 25 and let's check the last one. Obviously we could loop through this and do a few other things. Uh, but let's divide. Um, we're going to go, uh, what do we want? Do nine, uh, three, and we get a total answer of three. Hello, Michael. You did not enter valid input or you hit a D or you hit a W E or you hit, uh, a couple of asterisk marks. Uh, you did not enter valid input. Cool. I'm going to send you over to uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, he's awesome. Let him know where you came from. Appreciate you. Signing out.